Hello everyone. Today uh, I'm going to explain the first poem of your English textbook Honeysuckle, class 6, English, CBSC and CERT textbook. And the title of the poem is A House, A Home. The poet is Lorraine M. Halley. Now you must be wondering why the poem has been titled as A House, A Home. So the first thing that you must remember is that there is a difference between a house and a home. And the difference which is present has been explained very beautifully by the poet. Now before we move on to the explanation part of the poem, let's look at what the poem is all about. A House, A Home by Lorraine M. Haley What is a house? It's brick and stone and wood that's hard, some window glass and perhaps a yard, its eaves and chimneys and tile floors and stucco and roof and lots of doors. What is a home? It's loving and family and doing for others, its brothers and sisters and fathers and mothers, its unselfish acts and kindly sharing and showing your loved ones you are always caring so this is the poem and here first let's look at the first stanza there are two stanzas in the poem so let's look at the first stanza what is a house it's brick and stone and wood that's hard so you have noticed perhaps that uh, nearby you there are many houses that are being constructed you might have noticed near the marketplace also that many buildings are being constructed and to construct a building many materials are needed many raw materials are needed so the poet also here is saying that the house is made up of what it is made up of bricks it is made up of stones and wood wood that's hard enough to stand and Stand against the bad weather, isn't it? So that's why the poet is saying that a house is made up of brick, stone and wood that's hard. What else is a house made up of? Some window glass and perhaps a yard. Now window glass, we all know that a house needs windows. Why does a house need windows? So that fresh air from the outside can enter the house and keep the house environment clean isn't it so a house also consists of window glasses or windows or window panes and perhaps a yard now yard is a measurement and it it means uh, it might measure of three foot and yard the example of yard is also an open space which is outside the house so now we have found out two more things what is a house made up of? It is also made up of window glass and it is also made up of yard. So totally, right now we have bricks, stones, wood, window glass, yard. And what else are there? It's eaves and chimneys and tile floors and stucco and roof and lots of doors. Now, as you are seeing in the picture, what are eaves? Eaves are the edges of the roofs that are sticking out of the walls. Okay, so you can see clearly in the picture it has been marked what are eaves and house consists of these eaves also. And what about the chimneys? Chimney is a kind of a pipe. Sometimes it is also made of brick and stone. And you can see these chimneys in the earlier houses, especially in England and America, you will notice that the buildings have chimneys which are made up of bricks and stones nowadays there are modern chimneys no doubt most of you might have it also so what is the purpose of a chimney the purpose of a chimney is that it helps to take out the smoke from the house through the roof it takes the smoke out of the house through that pipe okay and the most important thing is doors so if there are windows obviously there will be doors also so a house is made up of bricks and stones and wood 
glass and yard and eaves, chimneys and tile floors and doors. Okay. So these are the components of a house. So here the poet is highlighting the physical attributes, the physical things, the raw materials that are needed to make a house. Now what is a home? Now let's move on to a home. So the poet says, a home, it's loving and family and doing for others. It's brothers and sisters and fathers and mothers. It's unselfish acts and kindly sharing and showing your loved ones you are always caring. So, look at this picture. You can imagine it to be your family maybe, isn't it? So, what is a home made up of? A home is made up of family members. Without your family members, you can never be happy, isn't it? You need your mother, you need your father, you need your brothers and sisters. And they together make up a family, they make you happy. And it is this place, it is a home where you understand kindness, sharing, caring for each other and loving each other. You understand the emotion of selflessness, isn't it? So, that's why the poet here says that a home is made up of brothers, sisters, mothers and fathers. Here we are never selfish. Here we are always kind to each other. We share with each other. And we show that we care for each other. A house can only be made a home if it consists of these family members, if it consists of our family members. And that is the main difference between a house and a home. A house here is only a physical structure. It is only a structure. It is made up of raw materials. But what is a home made up of? It is not simply made up of bricks and stones. A home is made up of family members. It also consists of emotions. It consists of the acts of selfishness, selflessness sorry, and of sharing and of loving. And that is why the poet here is saying a house, a home. So I hope that you have understood the poem and you will love the poem also. So thank you.